I mean, this is like the Super Bowl to some luxury people. Phoebe Philo finally dropped her eponymous line. Ex-creative director of really, I would probably say most famously, Celine. Um, this line has been speculated about and whisperings of it being dropped for years now. Okay, and finally on the 30th of October 2023, it came out. And there's a lot to talk about. I'm going to be going through the collection. The pricing is, that needs a whole chat in itself. Initial thoughts and all of that. Guys, if you're new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe to another bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Before this officially launched on Monday, I would say over the last couple of weeks, a um, clip of Iman talking on a radio show surfaced. Now, as far as I'm aware, this clip is from either 2013 or 2015, and it's basically Iman sharing why she doesn't own any Celine bags. It's because she was made aware of the fact that Phoebe Philo felt forced to use black models in her campaigns, um, possibly also in runways, and because of that, Iman has chosen never to buy a Celine bag. Now, I did just want to mention that. I think it's important to know that this is something that's come up, that's sort of resurfaced over the last couple of weeks as well. Let's jump in to um, the collection, shall we? Now, three days ago, Business of Fashion did a whole article on what to expect, because basically in the time that she's been away, a lot of other brands have come in and maybe quote unquote filled the gap that she left when she left old Celine, right? So for example, you've got The Row, you've got Jill Sander, uh, Peter Doe, brands like that. So she's had a lot of influence over the industry. So what was she going to bring, right? Now, look, I don't think you're surprised to know that I'm not a philophile, okay? Her vibe isn't necessarily what I kind of go for. Nonetheless, settling, let's have a look through. So I've just gone on see all. So you have a hand combed, embroidered sliced skirt in black. Did you see that? Did you see how the screen went red? It sold out. That was three grand. Okay, I'm going to be going on dollars here. Bias cut asymmetric shirt in a black washed glossy viscose twill. French sizing, it says to size up. Specialist dry cleaning in a net bag. Okay, wow, I've heard of specialist dry cleaning. I've never heard net bag. This, when I saw this, jaw dropped. Okay, because a big part of all of these luxury brands, right, are the accessories, namely bags and shoes, mainly bags, leather goods and all of that. That is the cash cow. That's where a lot of them put their focus because it makes them the most money, more than ready to wear. And, and when I'm talking about old Celine under Phoebe Philo, you know, it's the phantom bag. It's the trapeze bag. It's the luggage tote, right? We know these very well. This tote that looks like it could be made by the row is $8,000. Smooth black calf leather with toffee suede lining and a silver tone dog clip closure. This semi-structured bag has a bomb border and tonal stitching. It's old, hold, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's got a blind embossed logo, right, which, I mean, is it a huge tote? Yes. To be honest with you, you'd pay this at Bottega, but you'd also see a lot more craftsmanship in the Entretiato weave if this was at Bottega. Um, you've got a tiny, tiny little logo in there. Here's my beef with this. It's 2.2 kilos. So you want me not only to pay $8,500 for this bag, but a similar amount in chiropractic visits that I will need for the damage this bag is about to do on my back and shoulders. <laughs> she came out the gate swinging when it came to the prices. Cargo jacket in shroom. Again, so I looked at this. Before I looked at the price, I was like, oh, that's a nice jacket. This is, this is still available, 4,800. Wow. Is it available at... No, a medium is sold out. I am, by the way, I'm filming this two hours, two and a half hours after this has dropped, okay? This is, I think, possibly the cheapest thing on here. No wonder it's sold out. These are the oversized frame sunglasses. Scarf top in black. You see, something like this reminds me very much of Peter Doe. 
something that sort of business of fashion in that article was talking about this gap that has been filled by other brands in her absence something like this is very kate you would expect this to be at kate and then you would also expect it in a couple of months time to get into the sales and you can get a lovely little deal on that top this the it's sold out as well that's really sad this is the <laughs> this is the club low for 60 there is not a chance in hell I would be seen in this shoe. There's something about it that gives sort of Louis the Fourteenth, you know, in his little shoes. This is never something that I would look at. It's just not my style. So, but sold out. Oh, okay. Um, high neck jumper. It's a sodding jumper, and it's sold out. Of course, it would be the gig bag. I'm sorry that this is going to have to be in red because it's sold out, but we still get get an idea. Okay, we have that sort of trio aspect that we've seen in her previous old Celine bags right and then it's got a sort of you know clip thing at the top it's got a, a thing a tie that hangs you know it's a very practical shoulder bag it looks to be a decent size what else are you telling us it comes with the dust bag I should sod in hope so uh, well it's sold out 3500 was it of course it was okay jacket with attachable scarf 9800 sold out <clears throat> then we've got this really interesting brooch here that is white organza and for some for some odd reason a fabric brooch is one thousand one hundred dollars mm, available soon that's the only reason it's not sold out men's coating concrete five thousand a lot of pieces in this collection I think that you can get something very similar at other brands but obviously there's that sort of like affinity for some people like the die-hard Phoebe Philo fans aren't going to care they're really not to be honest with you they've been waiting for this woman and they're gonna spend the money either way the I, I would probably say this sort of hand combed embroidery thing that comes across a few pieces is the only thing that I think I haven't seen elsewhere or not off the top of my head can I think of or is a bit interesting right obviously it comes with a price tag 4000 for this dress in a deep berry oh shockingly not sold out there's a random bracelet in gold that says mum all over it shout out to the mums happy mother's day right tailored column dress mum necklace that tote is also in a suede it seems what is Lanyard with glass pendant. What? No. What is this for? Is that like a bag charm? It's $1,300. Is that a bag? Is that a necklace? What is this? It just says lanyard in chocolate brown leather with hand cut detachable glass pendant. Why? <laughs> this boring little pump. Actually, try to it's given a bit Bottega I mean this is just the badge ring in silver that's just that could be anything the peaks is this the cheapest thing we've seen thus far oh my gosh of course it's sold out um but yeah these are the cheapest thing we've seen thus far and they're giving very old Celine right it just from my perspective with my taste and my thoughts there are just a slew of other brands that if we're talking about this money if I've got nine thousand to spend on a jacket I'm not spending it here you know and everybody has their priorities of brands and brands that they find an affinity with and brands that they value and to what level and all of that so I get it but okay so that bag was four thousand three hundred and double breasted <gasps> double breasted coat and caviar shaved shearling don't just throw in the word caviar there because everybody assumes the word caviar is expensive right caviar in this case i mean i'm assuming that that's just the color french sizing select a larger size this is another thing that sort of annoys me you know when it's like the odd piece from a brand and it's like size up right i get it but when it's like you're the full collection are you just telling everybody to size up because then maybe you need to sort out your size guide shearling with wide lapels a raised waistline and exaggerated flared cuffs close fitting at the top half of the body full and weighted from the waist down six 
fourteen thousand dollars and if i'm not mistaken that's not the most expensive thing here this again louis the 14th clip-clopping around his little versailles home hand knitted t-shirt dress in iridescent stucco nineteen thousand what price upon application yeah i'm not so surprised just a yeti emerging necklace with trio pendant it's just got a load of crap on the bottom of it like some other things kind of came up after i'd finished filming that i thought were important to include first of all the sizing of the collection this size goes up to a uk 14 which is us 10 right it's not that size inclusive and i'm not saying this because we know that like luxury brands in general aren't the most size inclusive but i do think if you're a new brand coming out in 2023 that would be something that you would be a bit more conscious of um there's that the other thing that sort of keeps coming up when i'm talking about the price aspect is the fact that and look i've said this many times i'm not a phoebe philo fan right so i wasn't going to participate in a purchase of this collection okay but what annoys me with the prices is she's not a heritage brand and today brian boy posted a thing talking about his thoughts on the phoebe philo collection and all of this and uh, a tiktok that i've done uh, has been included and basically he's saying that like this is in line with other luxury brands and whatever you know like a seven grand trench is akin to what other people are charging which is all fine and well but those are heritage brands a seven thousand coat from Miu Miu or prada in my opinion is not the same as a coat from phoebe philo's collection but again i'm not i don't have any affinity to 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 this woman like some people have some people are oh my gosh this is far better and you know whatever right so i struggle with the pricing from the from the perspective that this isn't a heritage brand and yes she has clout but she had clout under celine and their heritage and their history and now she's gone on by her own and look the pieces are still selling out i'm one person with my style and my opinions um and it's selling out people are clearly buying do we know the inventory numbers of these pieces now do we know that it was one nine thousand jacket that was bought or 50 unclear right and so i'm just sitting here as a random person in my apartment in new york with my thoughts and you know whether i open my mouth or not people are gonna buy if they want to buy people are not gonna buy if they don't want to buy right and if you have the money to buy wonderful and if you don't again i have to like remind myself that i'm not the target customer blah 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 but i'm also not a philophile and the philophiles this is their super bowl as i said this is their royal wedding this is their olympics you know this is all of the big big this is their world cup and the thing that's even making me be even more harsh about it is the pricing because to me none of that is warranting it and i'm going to do a video in general about luxury pricing recently and having a chat about all of that this is insane the cheapest thing what there was a pair of 450 dollar sunglasses that to be honest were like significantly cheaper than anything else aside from those the cheapest thing would have been a 750 pound pair of sunglasses and then and then what a 900 dollar necklace that was just like nothing there was no sort of interesting design there was nothing i mean and look i don't know the ins and outs of fabrications and uh what's it called composition of, of fabric and all of that to to be able to speak on this confidently but you know i've got a little theory that the composition of those fabrics is not warranting you know nineteen thousand. if i am being terribly harsh and it's warranted and that hand combed something or other thing coat that looks like a yeti that's price point application is going to be 100 percent worth it's twenty five thousand dollar if not more 
price tag, then tell me. If you're a philophile, please share your thoughts below as well. I'm going to leave a link to another video up here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are, in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.